Hello everyone, I am Krishna Veni from class 6B. At this moment, I want to explain about the chapter 1, chapter 2, and the chapter 3 of my thesis entitled An Analysis of Infectional Morphine in Short Movie Entitled Coming Out of Lockdown. Okay, I'm going to start. An analysis of inflectional morphemes in short movie entitled Coming Out of Lockdown. Chapter 1 Introduction The Background of the Study Language is an important communication tool for human life. Harley states that language is a symbol that people use for communicating. Language is a medium to express feelings, thoughts, needs, and requirements as an individual, creature, or society. Therefore, it is significant that language and its elements must be learned, such as vocabulary. According to Tanburi, vocabulary is the collection of words, combination of symbols, signs, or letters that have arranged in to identify things and ideas. The list of vocabularies as written in a dictionary are called words, but morpheme is different from the word. A morpheme is the smallest meaningful unit in a language. A morpheme is in the area of morphology. Morphology is the branch of linguistics that studies word structures. According to Yule, morphology is a study to investigate the basic forms in language. It deals with the structure of a word, morphemes, allomorph, the process of inflection, derivation, blending, and compounding. There are two kinds of morpheme, namely free morpheme and bound morpheme. Inflational morpheme is the part of bound morpheme. In this paper, the writer chooses the inflectional morpheme from coming out of lockdown short movie. Nowadays, watching movie becomes a daily activity for some people. Movie visualizes a story or dialogue on the screen. The movie is one of the media to share information to the society and as a medium to communicate to the people around the world. The movie uses language to express its purpose to the society. Coming out of lockdown is a 16.50 minutes long short movie. It tells about six people that want to attend a party after lockdown. The problems of the study. Based, based on the background of the study, the writer formulates the following research questions. The first, what are the inflectional morphemes found in coming out of lockdown short movie? The second, what are the functions of those inflectional morphemes found in coming out of lockdown short movie? The objectives of the study. Based on the problems above, there are two objectives of this study. The first, to find out the inflectional morphemes found in coming out of lockdown short movie. The second, to find out the function of those inflectional morphemes found in coming out of lockdown short movie. The scope of the study. The writer only focuses on analyzing the inflectional morpheme their function that found in coming out of lockdown short movie. The significance of the study. The benefits of this study are as follows. The first theoretical benefits. The result of this study is expected to be able to provide benefits related to the inflectional morphemes found in coming out of lockdown short movie. In addition, it can be used as a reference for other researchers. The second practical benefits for writer can an insight and experience about the inflectional morphemes found in coming out of lockdown short movie. College student, 
This research helps students to understand about the inflational morphemes found in coming out of lockdown short movie. Chapter 2 Review of Related Literature Morphology Morphology is a branch of linguistics that deals with word structure, especially morpheme, as well as words' internal structure or affix. It supports the language elements such as vocabulary and grammar, as well as skills such as reading, speaking, and writing. According to Fromkin, Rotman, and Hams, morphology is the study of the internal structure of words. Morphology study aims to explain the morphological patterns of human languages. According to Yule, morphology is a study to investigate the basic forms in language. It deals with the structure of a word, morphemes, all morphs, the process of inflation, derivation, blending, and compounding. Morphology is important because it helps the researcher to comprehend the word structure and imitate as well as manipulate that word structure. In addition, morphology is helpful to increase the learner's vocabulary and to recognize the meaning easily by looking affixes attaching in words. There are two kinds of morpheme, namely free morpheme and bound morpheme. Morpheme has Pelmet and Sims state that morpheme is the smallest meaningful unit in the language. It is the smallest grammatical and meaningful linguistic unit that includes a word or an element of the word. For instance, re isn't a word, but it does carry meaning. For other example, linguist says that the word buyers is made up of three morphemes. By or and as the evidence for this is that it can occur in other combination morph of morphemes without changing its meaning. We can find by in buying, buys and er in sailor, fisher, as well as buyer, and as can be found in boys. Girls and Ducks Types of Morpheme According to Lieber, there are two types of morpheme, namely free morpheme and bound morpheme. Free morpheme A free morpheme is a morpheme that can carry meaning on its own. It doesn't require a prefix, suffix, or infix to give it meaning. For instance, go, run, cat, book, pen, pencil, etc. Free morpheme is classified into two, namely lexical morpheme and functional morpheme. Lexical morpheme is words that have meaning by themselves. For instance, boy, girl, man, woman, etc. Meanwhile, functional morpheme consists of the functional words in the language such as conjunction, preposition, articles, and pronouns. For instance, and of the sea and him. A bound morpheme is used with a free morpheme to construct a complete word because it cannot stand independently. For instance, farmer wants that cling it is there are two types of bound morpheme, namely inflational morpheme and derivational morpheme. Inflational morpheme is the modification of a word to form different grammatical categories without changing its core meaning. For instance, determines, determining, and determined are from the root determined. Meanwhile, the rational morpheme uses prefix or suffix and has the ability to change function as well as meaning of words. For instance, unhappy and happiness derive from the root word happy.
Inflation. According to Clark, inflation is a morpheme that expresses some kind of grammatical relationship. For example, the S morpheme attached to the word slips indicates the present tense for a singular person. Hippisley and Stam states that the main point about inflation is that it never gives a new word class, but it only gives a different form of the same word. For instance, when we add certain affixes to the word walk, producing forms like walks, walking, and walk, those words don't get any new word class, but only grammatically different forms on the same word. Another example is the word tables. It consists of a pre morpheme book and a suffix s. The bound morpheme s doesn't change the grammatical category of the morpheme table. It only gives grammatical meaning which shows that the word tables is plural. However, the word class is still the same in which the noun table when added a suffix s is still a noun. According to Frankin, Rotman, and Hems, modern English has eight inflectional affixes, namely as third person singular, for instance, he works at bank, ed past tense, for instance, he works at the garden, ink progressive, for instance, Jessica is drinking the beer, and past participle, for instance, he has eaten the pizza. As plural, for instance, Ryu at the apples. As possessive, for instance, Sam's hair is short. Or comparative, for instance, Jessica has longer hair than her mother. Chapter T Research Method According to Johnson and Christensen, research design is the group of procedures and methods used in analyzing problem in research. In the other words, research design is the technique used to gather the data, investigate the data, and make a conclusion from the data to provide factual and dependable data. There are two common types of research design, quantitative and qualitative. Based on the problems, the approach which was used in this study is a qualitative method. The sources of data. Data is one of the most significant points of every research. According to Salkin, the sources of data are collected by the researcher directly for certain research. Data can be numbers, image, images, words, figures, facts, or ideas. In this research, the data is Words that taken from coming out of lockdown short movie. <clears throat> the procedures of data collection. In the process of collecting data, I take some following tab steps. The first, the researchers watches coming out of lockdown short movie. The second, the researchers determines the words which contains inflectional morpheme. The third researcher writes all the inflectional morpheme in coming out of lockdown short movie. The technique of data analysis. According to Donald Ari, there are four steps in analyzing the data, namely organizing the data, summarizing the data, interpreting the data, and reporting the data. In this research, the writer organizes all the inflectional morphemes in Coming out of the short movie, summarize the impersonal morpheme, interprets the impersonal morphemes, and reports the impersonal morpheme. Okay, that's all about my explanation. Thank you.